Hey, what's going on guys? Josh from Trailbuild and recently Nitto has just released their new Recon Grappler All-Terrain that we're going to show you guys again today. We're going to go through some specs on it, but we also wanted to compare it to the Toyo Open Country AT. Now the reason we wanted to go through the two different comparisons between the Recon Grappler AT and the Toyo Open Country AT3 is because they're both relatively new to the market. Obviously the Recon Grappler is much more newer to the market, only being released a few weeks ago, whereas the Toyo Open Country AT3 has been out for just about a year now. But really for you guys that like Toyos, you like Nittos, which one do we decide to go with? And that's what we're gonna go through with you guys today. Also guys, remember that if you are looking for tires for your rig, you can find them right on our website, it's trailbuiltoffroad.com. Also don't forget that if you package them with a set of wheels as well, you also get free mounting, free balancing, and if you live in any state in the lower 48, you also get free shipping as well. That's a heck of a deal, guys. All right, let's jump right into it. If you're just learning about the Recon Grappler from Nitto, there's a couple of different things that will go with you real quick right away. Number one, it is an all-terrain, which is almost contradictive to the point of the tread design does in fact look like a rugged terrain or like a hybrid terrain type tire, although it's categorized as an all-terrain. And one of the reasons for that is because the compound in the all-terrains typically will have a longer lasting tread compound and they'll typically have some sort of mileage warranty. Now the Recon Grapplers actually have a 55,000 mileage warranty, whereas the Toyo Open Country AT3 does only have a 50,000 mile warranty. Now, one thing with that said is the Toyo AT3 is going to come in at a little bit less money overall than your Recon Grappler. So maybe that extra 5,000 mileage warranty that you get with the Recon Grappler is worth the little bit extra money that you'll spend on them. But that's up to you guys to decide. All right, guys, now for comparison reasons, we went ahead and we pulled the specs for the same size tires, the LT 285 55 R20s. So for the LT 285, 55 R20s, which guys, by the way, the Recon Grappler by Nitto is still only available in the 20 inch wheel diameter. We are anticipating them to be releasing new wheel sizes here in the very near future, although we haven't had any confirmed dates on the different sizes that are going to be available. So right now it is just the 20 inch wheel sizes. But for the 285, for the LT 285 55 R20, the Nitto Recon Grappler is available in many different sizes in that 20 inch wheel size. The particular LT28555 that we picked out does have an e-load range weighting, which is about 3,000 pounds per tire or so at max capacity. Now in the LT28555R20s, they come in right around 57 pounds per tire. Pretty respectable, uh, not super heavy, not super lightweight, but a good respectable midsize weight rating for that size tire. Whereas what was interesting, what we found is that the Toyo Open Country AT3 actually came in at just shy of two pounds more per tire. So whether that's in the construction or the cords or maybe the sidewall, not really sure. It could even be in the compound that they use, a little extra compound, maybe a couple extra tread lugs on here could make the difference between the two pounds. But anyways, regardless, the Recon Grappler is gonna be just a little bit lighter than the AT3 Open Country. Another interesting fact that we found is that the Recon Grapplers, being in all terrain, are not three peak mountain snowflake rated. So they're not severe winter driving rated with that three peak mountain snowflake rating symbol on them. So this is a better tire for the more Southern states or for areas where you're not gonna see a lot of rain or snow. Uh, typically with a three peak mountain snowflake rated tire, you will get a lot more siping and the compound is designed to be a little bit more adhesive in colder weather temperatures. So if it is icy roads or severe snowstorm, things like that, you will get a little extra adhesion with the tires that do have the three peak mountain snowflake rated symbol on the sidewall. Now for us being up here in Wisconsin, this Recon Grappler probably wouldn't make it to the top of our list for tires that we're looking to run on our vehicles. However, the AT3, for us anyways, a little bit more of a desirable tire, at least up here in Wisconsin. And even when you guys are looking at the differences in the tread design and even the sipes, you'll notice that the AT3 does have a lot more siping throughout all of the tread lugs, including the shoulder lugs, to 
zigzagged swipes on each shoulder lug on the AT3 compared to just the one singular swipe on the Recon Grapplers. Now the Recon Grappler, when you're looking at the tread design on them, you'll notice that they do have pretty decent, pretty substantial tread voids in between all the tread lugs, which is great for evacuating that mud, snow, sand, loose dirt, and all those different objects like that, even snow. But what I noticed here is that they do have a little bit wider sipes in between some of these tread lugs and then little smaller sipes in between some of these tread lugs or even throughout these tread lugs on the Recon Grappler, which I can see will definitely help in some of those maybe rock crawling situations or some of those off-road situations where the obstacles, you need the treads to sort of shape and conform in different ways. Some of these cutouts on the sipes will help the tread lugs be able to do that and climb over those obstacles. When you start getting these tread lugs to start to fold and sort of envelope at low tire pressures over those obstacles, it definitely help aids in that traction, uh, getting you to those places where you need to go or getting you over those obstacles. When looking at the tread design on the Toyo AT3, you'll notice that it doesn't really have the same sort of bigger sipes or channel grooves in between the tread lugs themselves, on the tread lugs I should say, but in between the tread lugs you'll still notice that they have pretty decent and pretty sizable tread voids to help with evacuation with that, you know, regardless if it's snow, rain, dirt, mud, sand, whatever it may be, you'll notice that they have quite a bit of evacuation channels throughout. Another thing too, with the design of the tread lugs on the Toyo AT3, they do have some sharp edges to these tread lugs, which do aid in that grip and that bite when you're either crawling over obstacles or even acceleration and braking situations too to help with that additional traction. So both definitely have a really great design in the tread patterns to help with the traction regardless if it's on-road or off-road. So we have not been able to really put this Recon Grappler to the test just quite yet, but stay tuned to our channel. Make sure and hit that subscribe button because we will be taking this off-road and on-road in the near future and really put that Recon Grappler to the test and see what it can do. So then, which one would we pick, right? Well, for us, being in Wisconsin, obviously we're gonna have to go with the AT3 from Toil because of the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake Rate. It does have a little extra winter traction capabilities here, but what if we lived in a more southern state where we wouldn't have to worry about that severe winter driving performance category with the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake Rated tire? Well, I think I would still go with the Toyo AT3 and a couple of different reasons why. I don't mind so much that the Recon Grappler has a little bit extra mileage warranty, an extra 5,000 miles as with my vehicles, it's never been a consideration as to what the tire has for a mileage warranty because chances are I'm gonna burn through them way faster than that anyways due to negligence in the way that I drive. But anyways, I would still go with the AT3W because of all of the traction performance reviews that the AT3W has. It is a little bit less money. So to me, having a Three Peak Mountain Snowflake rated tire for a little bit less money is the trade off for the extra mileage warranty. So I think being that it is a little bit less money, it has that Three Peak Mountain Snowflake rated tire, I would pretty much go with the Toyo Open Country AT3. All right guys, so you've heard which one I would go with, but we really wanna hear back from you after what you've seen in today's video. Which one would you guys rather pick? Or even if you guys had any other questions on either the Recon Grappler or the Toyo AT3, just let us know in the comments below. Other than that, guys, don't forget that when you do package these tires with a set of wheels on Trail Build that will mount and balance those wheels for you at no extra cost. Plus, if you live in any state in the lower 48, we also ship them to you for free as well. That's a really great savings, guys. So make sure and package them with some wheels. We also have several different awesome financing plans available, even including up to 0%. So definitely make sure and check those out. Other than that, guys, we definitely appreciate all of you for watching and all of your support. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt, and we'll see you guys out on the trails.